during August, trees look very barren and very dry. But in September, they blossom, they become green, they bring out those beautiful flowers and the aroma. It's symbolic even to human beings. This time is the time that we need to refresh. We try to recollect the past, the good and the bad, as it is the beginning of the year, the Rosh Hashanah. My name is Machaya Mateva Sermane. I'm the son of Takani, the grandson of Gedzura, the great-grandson of Randi Pareni, and the great-great-grandson of Mativa Saramana, Wachidziva, Chavana Wangonga. Saramana Wachiramba, Chiramba Gufa, Muzungu Anagumba Sena. Some call, you know, Judaism as a religion, but Judaism is just embedded in our culture. It's a lifestyle, the way we live every day. Even though it's dynamic, but we try to preserve some of the heritage, some of the things that our fathers and our grandfathers, mothers and grandmothers taught us orally. We talk directly to our God and God responds directly through many forms either by people, either by how the surrounding look like, how the stars look like, how they behave, the moon, you know. That's how we interpret how God responds to us. As Lembas, we do not eat pork. Actually, we follow all the dietary laws that has been given in Mount Sinai by the time of Moses. But throughout time, some of the tradition got lost. We are, we are trying to catch up and revive them. I got married to my wife, who is not a Lemba. I was still a Christian. And the Christianity, you know, allows everything to happen. The marriage it has to do with the culture. And doesn't involve two people. It involves families. And they agreed and we paid Lobola as required by the tradition and we lived together for up to 30 years now. We lived well, you know, as a Christian family. But things went wrong somehow when one of my kids, you know, was uh, brutally stabbed and passed on. But uh, I've got only three kids. The, the youngest, the, the eldest is Takani. He was the second born. Fariseri and the last born was Taripan. And we were living in harmony. But now, you know, I don't have my son, he's gone. Now my wife left me three months after the death uh, of my son for one reason or another that I cannot even tell you why. I'm Seramani. In our uh, Lemba, I wouldn't say family. We have 12 tribes. So with each tribe, you have a praise. So that praise sort of like links your lineage, where you come from, what makes you strong, who you are. So with me, I am Takani Mativa, Wachedziva, Chedziva Chavana Wangonga, Nyachichona Nechonu Vangelele, Wachiramba Kufa, Dimuzungu Onuku Vasena. Everything that you would want to grow, grows around here. It's a place where there's a lot of bananas. That's where my mom comes from. I feel like I'm more of a son of the soil. I'm a farmer, a software developer, and I've got my own shop. With my dad, I always, 
ask him, how do I become Chiramba Kufa? Chiramba Kufa meaning that you defy death. The process of doing that becomes a monumental weight on your shoulders. For me, that way comes from my father. It comes from his father, his father's father. So it's a generational transfer of knowledge. And for us, most of it is oral. Lembas and uh, modern day Jews, if I were to say it, all have like a common uh, uh, history. And as we, have, we, we know, with Lemba tradition, um, when there was the destruction of the temple in Israel, they also moved as well, going down to Sena, Sena 1, which is in modern day Yemen. So when they were there, they also faced some challenges because when they moved there, they were hoping for better pastures and obviously to return back where they were coming from, which is Israel like Jerusalem to rebuild the temple and be able to live in peace once more. Obviously that was not the case. Hence they started moving more into the interior of Africa, like the eastern part of Africa coming down, going into Zimbabwe, uh, Mozambique, South Africa. That's where you mostly find the lembas that are sort of like organized in a sense, they would have an organization which we normally call the Lemba Cultural Association. You do find Lembas in all different other cultures and it's not a matter of those people converted, it's like we came to their land, we learned their language and to some extent some of their traditions would rub off of us. Yeah, this is a land of legends. A lot of mysteries. In fact, you know, as a Lemba living amongst the Venda people, they've got their own beliefs and culture. We are not the same. We might look alike. Because Venda is not necessarily a people. Like, but Venda, they have got different variations with the, amongst them. Even the, the language, like for instance, the Venda that we are speaking here is different from the Venda that you know, someone would speak when they are in Mosina. What is very interesting, we all believe in what we call Mwari. Mwari means the creator in Shona and Jivenda. Teba Venda came here in South Africa with the Lembas. But the first people who came in were the Lembas because they were scouting the land. And they found this place very beautiful. My grandfather, Emi Armativa, for me is like a pioneer. He's got a book, it's sort of like my version of the Torah because they've lost their book. I would not necessarily push away the, the Torah that is used across the world, but I take his words more of uh, guidance for me. M.E.R. was the eldest, and my grandfather, Takani, was the younger one. But uh, how they worked together was, you know, like a, a team that would be able to move mountains. He sent my father to Israel um, to represent the Lemba uh, people. My father was supposed to attend a conference in Dimona in Israel, but uh, he got ill. He said, by the weekend, you are going to attend the conference on my behalf. He was not asking me, he was telling me. And uh, when I reached Ben Gurion Airport, it was a bit difficult because they look at me as an African or a Palestinian. The conference was just a week, but I spent almost three weeks there. I was in the Holy Land. I was in my forefather's land. Very beautiful, but I was alone. Most of the time I was just watching nature and enjoying nature there. It's where I started to battle with God. And by that time I was still a Christian. And uh, <laughs> I had a lot of challenges when I came back because I was a different person. That's where I, I shared my Christianity and the way I believed in the past and uh, started to dig down now, who am I? I'm a Lemba. Anyone 
I love Israel. That's the, the, the first point. Because Israel to me, it's the union of all Jews together. But there are some practices of some other Israelites who practice, you know, a negative attitude to others. I would like the state of Israel to be united with the Palestinians. I mean, we're all descendants of Abraham, and then we move forward. Simple as all that, you know, this fighting, you know, building tunnels underneath, you know, trying to destroy one another, you know, to me, it doesn't represent Hashem. Apartheid actually really uh, did a lot of damage to us. And uh, we, most of people could not practice their full uh, content of uh, their religion culture. They used it to oppress us and uh, to colonize us. We were forced to, to learn their culture. Uh, you know, when you, you, you start schooling, you could not actually be registered at the school if you don't have a so-called Christian name, but it was a European name. This indigenous knowledge system is very important in bringing up, you know, a, a, a development in the nation. Because most of the Jews that come from Europe, they tried to use that uh, apartheid. They, they wanted to be secluded and uh, live by their own. And they said, you know, they are the true Jews and we are just, you know, black Africans. But they didn't know that, you know, creation was actually here in Africa. Yeah. We were looked down upon, you know, not recognized to, to a point where, like, let's say, for instance, I was in Johannes with my son. We need to convert, and that was a no-no for me, because how can I convert to something that I am? I tried to find a Jewish school for my son in Johannesburg, which proved to be a challenge, but yet it was a blessing in disguise because that allowed me to bring my son closer to my dad and uh, allow the transfer of knowledge to be oral as it was intended or it has been done by my people. You know, the issue of uh, conversion, to me, is a bit upset. Anybody might need conversion, but not a lemba. A lemba is born a Jew. They require those things, but we do not subscribe to those. Uh, we, 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 we are lembas because we are born lembas. There's no need for me to, uh, to reconnect through conversion, no. I remain a Jew by birth, it's by blood. I understand Judaism through a patriarchal line. I don't understand that through the matrilineal line. I'm Florence Chikarange. I'm from Matiba family. My father was a traditional healer. My father and the father of this of the distance are brothers. I'm not married by a Lemba man. I'm married by the Venda people. We call them Devasenzi. We as the Lemba woman, if I'm married with a, a man who is not a Lemba, and then I'm fully involved with those who that are maybe we, we, we can say they are the Gentiles, some, something like that. Now I'm not 100% in my culture because uh, there are some more restrictions that restrict me to practice my Lemba culture. Uh, and I'm not allowed to, to teach my kids the Lemba culture because they are not the Lembas. Our forefathers didn't have it easy. If they were to practice, they would die. So for us to be, to be able to survive, to sustain ourselves, some of them needed to go far away from their fathers. In us preserving ourselves, we would compromise in terms of practices. We would do maybe in a different way, you know, put it in a song. You would find your religion in, in, the, in, the, in the culture itself uh, because we also play instruments like mbira. Whenever there is um, come together, they will blow the shofar as well. We play the drums. All those things for me, I feel that is religion uh, because sound itself works 
wonders within a human being. I would dream of our tribes, our nation, the Lemba people, coming together with the entire Jewish community. I've got very few years probably to live, but I want to leave a legacy. Till today you see me as a ceremony, because we, we defy death. And uh, it is not through our intelligence, but it is through the guidance and wisdom that Hashem has given us. Nobody has ever accurately described who God is. That's why in Jewish scriptures, when they write God, they, they omit the O and put a dash. The distance between the earth and the sun, I think is still the same since it was created, which means, you know, God is still the same. God is not in heaven to me. God is with me wherever I am.